By the power vested in us by the District of Columbia, we declare that you are husband and wife. It is our honor and delight to introduce the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Brent Peterson and Leah Weiser. I want to thank Allison for an outstanding alternative. Yeah. <laughs> Random camped them in last week, thinking about what to say as a toast for the uh, for the bride and groom, and it turned out after the fact to be remarkably similar to what the wedding ceremony talked about. <laughs> so um, it may sound a little bit repetitive. So first of all, I really want to thank everybody for coming. In fact, people traveled, literally traveled the globe to get here. Thank you, Daniel, for coming from Australia. <laughs> now, this, is, this is a really big event, because if I, if I know my math properly, I think it's eight years in the making. Yeah. See, see, Leah says it's seven and a half. I'm rounding up to eight. <laughs> so this has been a long time coming. And I thought about the bride and groom a lot as I sat in my Hampton Inn in Westbury, Long Island last week. And I thought about Leah. And Leah kind of reminds me. So Leah is, for those who know Leah well, she's the guardian of Heron. She loves penguins. She watches after bluefin tuna. And she has dedicated her life to saving all endangered fish. <laughs> And I thought about a conversation that we had with Cindy a couple of weeks ago. And Cindy said that when, that when Leah gets tired or when Leah gets stressed, she tends to become prickly. No. I, thought that was a great I, I thought that was a great adjective for Leah. And I thought about that in the context of Brent and Leah. And so it was about several months ago, maybe it was seven months, years into the relationship, we were sitting at our house. And, and Brent and Leah were sitting at our table, and Leah was starting to get a little prickly. <laughs> and Melanie and I understood why she was getting prickly, and she sat at the table, and she anxiously awaited the moment, at some point, where Brent would ask Melanie and I for Leah's hand in marriage. And after about an hour of sitting at the table, nothing happened. <laughs> And I saw that Leah started to kick him under the table. And then she started to stare and leer at him. And then she finally said, Don't you have something to ask my parents? And then I thought about Brent. And the only words I can describe Brent is, he's the Admiral of the Anacostia. All right, he, he loves the Anacostia. And so we realized as a wiser family and very regimented that Brent was unique. <laughs> and the thing that he amazed the wiser family the most about was his ability to speak for hours to random strangers. <laughs> and I'm not even sure if those strangers are all animate or inanimate. <laughs> and the way that Brent could also wear his very limited wardrobe. <laughs> Right, right. Brent, Brent could, he could wear a wardrobe in multiple ways, in ways that would astonish, certainly would astonish me. But above all, it was Brent's protracted decision-making process. And so, I know that, you know, Amy and Allison talked about how opposites attract. So I thought about where Leah was always quick to make a decision. Whether it was right or wrong, Leah was quick. But Brent wanted to create a spreadsheet of the options to consider. Where Leah wanted cable TV, Brent wanted to evaluate all of the cord cutting options that were possible to be considered. And two years ago, when Leah wanted to buy her house, Brent wanted to analyze the cost per square foot. Brent, and I realized then that Brent was truly the yin to Leah's yang. 
But in spite of the clear differences, what we always saw between the two of them was a love and a commitment to grow together, together as a couple, and an ability, as Amy and Allison talked about, to find compromise that creates stronger bonds. So let's raise our glasses and toast Lee and Brent and wish them a lifetime of happiness. Hello, it's me again. I'm going to try and keep it together for you. I can't make any promises, but I'm going to try my best. Um, I also wanted to thank um, everyone that is here tonight. I hope you've been enjoying this wonderful day to celebrate the love between Brent and Leah. I'd like to thank Leah's wonderful family for welcoming the Peterson clan with open arms. You've been nothing short of the most kind and generous host and hostesses to this beautiful weekend. And I'd like to take a moment to thank my family for actually showing up on time. I know that's a huge team for all of us. So. Bravo. Bravo. I feel like you, sh most of you should know already, but my name is Megan. I'm the middle child. No, I don't own Rebel Nell. And no, I never worked for the Detroit Tigers. But I am Brent's favorite sister. Oh. It's true. It is true. Um, it's an honor to be standing up here as your best woman, Brent. And I'm so proud to call you my baby brother. Now, I could stand up here and tell you about how Brent is the most kind, caring, um, and most thoughtful man that I know. But that would bore you, probably. And I could also go on and on about how he is unique and tell embarrassing stories about, about him. Like how he used to electrocute himself <laughs> by sticking bobby pins in the light sockets. Or how he wore stockings on my mom's head to dress up as a girl. <laughs> or I could tell you about the countless number of times my parents came home from work only to find my naked Cabbage Patch dolls hanging from by their limbs from the trees in front of our house. <laughs> but I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't want you to walk away and be like, wow, Leah's marrying a weirdo. <laughs> Instead, I want to talk about what it was like growing up with him. As you can already tell, Brent has a way of keeping things exciting and entertaining. The memories I love the most are us singing and dancing to choreographed programs in my parents' living room. We had a concert almost every Friday night with props, major set lists, and uh, elaborate programs. He was always the lead singer, and my sister and I were his devoted backup dancers. <laughs> dancers and singers. It is no surprise to me the career path he's chosen because from a very early age, he really enjoyed entertaining and singing to people. I am still waiting for my invitation to be a backup dancer, and I know it's on the mail, and if you're wondering, the answer is yes. <laughs> so the very first time I heard about Brent's interest in Leah, I was amazed at the amount of the extent he was going to go to to win her over. <laughs> Leah, as we all know, is an avid sports fan, and Brent, as we've talked about ad nauseum, is, has very little interest in sports. Um, we joke that he know, slightly knows the difference between a baseball and a basketball, and my poor father still has heartburn <laughs> every day <laughs> over the fact that that is the case. But despite his lack of interest, he embraced hers, so on the first date, he took Leah all the way to Detroit to the Detroit Tigers opening day. I'm not sure how the conversation went or how Brent hid the fact that he wasn't a super fan of sports, but obviously it works because we're all here today. But when I first met Leah, I realized why Brent thought she was such a catch. Leah is fun, outgoing, and exceptionally thoughtful. Leah, it has been such a joy to have you in our family. Sorry. <laughs> For the past several years, or, and well, as Steve would say, almost eight years. <laughs> um, 
And I want to thank you for your love and patience with my brother. Because I know it takes love and patience. You have an amazing way of bringing out the best in him. And I want to, I mean, I can't wait to see what the future holds for you too. So now I have some advice. So my advice to both of you is to love one another just as you do. To give each other the most you have. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, give each other the most you have. Continue to celebrate your differences, which is Leah tolerating Dave Matthews Band and Brent and State Sports. <laughs> and embrace your similarities, which is your love first week on you. <laughs> and uh, we'll work on that. <laughs> and to quote Bob Marley again, which I couldn't make it through the first time. So smile when you make each other happy, talk when you make each other mad, and miss each other when you're gone. So to that, let's raise a glass to Matt and Leah, to love, laughter, and happily ever after. So I'm Lee's brother, and maybe surprisingly I'm not going to roast Brent like our dad did. Um, so, um, on, on, uh, on May 9th of this year, Brent put up an Instagram post that said, Today is too beautiful to effectively work from home, so a construction site tour of the Anacostia waterfront is in order, hashtag year of the Anacostia. And I think in the eight years I've known you, it was the 437th time I've wondered what you were doing right with your life. <laughs> um, so, but um, I won't embarrass myself by getting into what I'm doing wrong, but I want to talk about what you do right and how it's perfect for Leah, actually. Um, you are the, Brent is the eternal optimist. He's the person in any room who does his best to make sure everyone's having fun. He is somehow constantly playing music, even though no one wants him to. Um, and in a true testament to the fact that we will never let the dead beat that story die, uh, Brent has never been a stranger who hasn't become a friend. Um, and I think many of you are at this wedding. Um, when I think of Brent, I think of someone who has made it their mission to enjoy every second of their life and to share that joy with as many people as he can. On the other hand, there's Leah. Um, uh, short list of the most commonly used phrases said while impersonating Leah include no fun allowed, uh, be, be quiet, do you have to chew like that, uh, stop playing with that. Uh, Leah has her fun and there's very few people I like spending more time with than her, but you do need to prepare that your phone is going to have structure. And it's going to be governed by arbitrary rules that Leah came up with, and those rules are right. Um, but when I, I think of Leah and Brent together preparing for this, I always think of Leah having fun, at times in spite of herself. Um, I think of Leah smiling because Brent is dancing with Ani even though Leah really, really wants Brent to take her on out. I think of Leah laughing even while telling me they were late because Brent spoke to a neighbor for 45 minutes. Uh, every memory I could think of for this toast ended with Brent making me laugh. Um, unlike Amy, we, we don't play favorites in this family, so in the exact same way that I feel about Allison, um, being around Leah is, and watching her laugh and smile uh, brings me more happiness than I could ever describe. And in comes Brent, and there's someone there who has made it their mission to do that for Leah every day. Um, so for that, I'd like to raise the glass to two things. Uh, the first is the year of the Anacostia River. Hey! Uh, and, uh, the second is, is for Brent bringing happiness and joy to Leah's life. Here, here. 